Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to go more in depth of what's new inside of Gnome 46. Um, now that I have the fully compiled beta currently installed with no VRR, uh, which the VRR PR pull request did get approved. And they also mentioned that they did want to get HDR in 46, which is huge, by the way. All right, where do we begin? Well, it's simple. We got to begin in Nautilus. So, I don't know. Should we? Let's see. So we open this and new search icon. That's literally it. Just there's a new search icon. Okay. Uh, you do also have the ability to log into OneDrive. I, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but I think it's like, let me see what pops up. I believe it's in the repo. OneDrive. Ah, oh, there it is. OneDrive. Yeah. Ugh, for science. All right, so we're going to install that real quick. And then we're going to completely kill uh, Nautilus. We're going to open up System Monitor here. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to find it. Nautilus is right there. We're going to end the process and wait till it dies fully. It's gone, good. We're open this up and it's still not there. We have to go to other locations to enable it. How do we do this? Uh, maybe it's in settings. So we go to online accounts and the ability to add OneDrive is not there. Do we have to log into my, to Microsoft Personal? Okay, unable to complete your request. I honestly don't know how to enable this. But you can do this. This is one of those things. All right, so the new search button lets you search across the system. However, the older one with a new look lets you search inside the current folder and directory you're in. So uh, let's do this and search current folder or Pika. Ah, see, isn't that cool? And then you could probably change it to find anything search certain dates, lots of other cool stuff. Now, there is a new date and time format, which is important. So if we go over here uh, and we go to preferences, we go down to date and time, you can add detailed now, which is really good. And you can also add simple. So yeah, it's, it's kind of nice to have such things. I like detailed a little bit more. It looks really good. Now, the thing we need to talk about, oh, that was weird, is the UI refinements, okay? And, oh, that looks pretty. That does. A lot of things have changed. Uh, where's notifications? I'm trying to get to it, I can't freaking find it. Notifications have changed. They are a lot more simple. And they've changed the settings completely. So now you have everything about the PC. So basically things you need to configure, your regional language, your date and time, user accounts, remote desktop, secure shell, and about are all in system. And changing things up like default apps are inside of apps now with a lot of other things. There is also privacy and security, which is new. They basically renamed it because that's what it was in the first place and uh it it's kind of nice looking i want to show you what it looked like before um just so you know i think that'd be easier so oh it's not gonna let me it's totally not so here you go i'm gonna borrow some stuff from them because those guys are pretty awesome at keeping track of these things so this is what it used to look like as you can see date and time and everything were out on their own and it was a lot to handle because it was a lot of random stuff. But putting it in system definitely helps clean things up. And as you can see, the new one looks way better. A lot cleaner, a lot less options, but the options are contained where they should be versus where they were before. Next thing is on online accounts tweaks. So uh, as I showed you, there's actually a lot more stuff here than there was before. And the big one, I believe, is support for card DAV and CalDAV providers to be added, which is 
good for people that want that. So contact files, in other words. And uh, adding this pops this up. Oops, what was that? I want to do that again. As you can see, it just, you know, you log in like you usually do. I have no idea about any of this because I've never used it before. Um, I don't know. Do we even have maps installed? We do. Let's see how fancy this looks compared to. Okay, that's not that bad. I'm going to zoom in somewhere I know. Let's go to Maine so we can find Dairy. I joke, by the way. Uh, here's the cool thing. This, this here, it's gotten a makeover. I don't know why you would use a button. Hey, look, we found a Weasley. You think he has handy down robes? And not a friend of Draco Malfoy? Huh. Crawford. Huh. Hannibal Lechner. Not bad. Alexander. Do I know anybody with the name Alexander from a movie? Hmm. Hey, look, it's a big lake. See, people in Maine, they... they they're really creative with their names. Big Lake. Bravo. Uh, where's Small Lake? If there's a Big Lake, there has to be a Small Lake. I'm not even joking. West Grand Lake. That is a lot bigger than Big Lake. So yes, it, be, it could be called Grand Lake. Anyway, so these buttons got to make over. The app itself looks a lot better and a lot cleaner than it did before, which is nice. Uh, same options as before. Yeah, pretty much. It, ooh, oh, that was bugged out for a second. Caught that on video. All right, so notifications. This is the one that I wanted to show you, but it's really, really hard to do so. And notifications are changed. I'm going to bring that over there. So this is what they look like now. And I'm going to show you before real quick. This is before. This is after. Like... It's a pretty big change. Things look a lot more well designed versus this. You can see screenshot just now and then screenshot capture and you can paste this from the clipboard and then screenshot capture. You can paste this from the clipboard. I like it. It's nicer. It's a little bit bigger than it was before. I'm pretty sure they could have fit all of this into one single thing. Like it would have been easy. You could have literally just put just now over here in the lower right hand corner and it would have looked just as good you know what i mean new wallpapers yeah every release comes with a new wallpaper that's a thing uh as you can see the new wallpaper here oh that is really pleasing to the eyes holy mother of god i'm gonna move this completely out of the way look at that that looks great wow I'm like whoever built that. You are a favorite person of mine. Um, I need to add mine back because I was enjoying how pleasing that was. Okay. Now, other improvements. Great. Um, performance improvements in Mutter. So in other words, I've already mentioned in a previous video that uh, the system is extremely responsive, extremely fast, way more so than GNOME 45. Uh, not only that, but as I mentioned, the UI is really clean looking, no wasted space whatsoever. I really do enjoy it. Memory usage improvements. There's actual memory usage improvements. Okay, I gotta see this. I gotta see this. I got it, okay. I don't know what it means by that, because it doesn't really go into detail what they mean by that. But as this is the most, uh, the biggest thing currently going besides the browser, we can check that out. So. How am I using 6.2 gigs of RAM? How? Where? It doesn't matter, I have 50 gigs of RAM. It's probably just using as much as it needs to utilize. Memory. That is nowhere near six gigs. There's something going on. Hmm, well, doesn't matter. Uh, system monitor was ported to GTK4, which is also good. So it matches the rest of the system. A new renderer for GTK and native support for, fracture sca for fractional scaling. Do I even have support for fractional scaling or do I have to turn it on? Yeah, it's just normal scaling. How do you enable fractional scaling? Let's see what 
happens when I try to do that. Is there a button for it? So I have to do this in the terminal. Like that. Let me go back to display settings and I believe I should have it now, but I don't. So I don't know how to really enable it unless I uh, I have to log out and log back in because it's not a thing right now. Notice any issues for actually if you switch back to the round. Hmm. Yeah. No, I don't know how to do that. Lysine 1.0 image decoding for secure experience and image viewer. Secure experience and image viewer? What? I don't know. That sounds weird. Huh. So that's it. As an, in a nutshell, as a whole, looks like they are adding VRR and they will be adding HDR to experimental so you can enable that using a command like I just did there. And at release, honestly, this is going to be one of the best iterations of GNOME in a very long time. They didn't remove anything, but they sure as hell are adding a lot of stuff. I'm hoping triple buffering makes it in as well. That would be great news for a lot of people. And um, the explicit sync, uh, the main thing that makes it happen has been approved for you NVIDIA users. So hopefully we'll get, you know, explicit sync in 555 drivers, which are coming to beta soon. We got that information from an NVIDIA dev. Uh, besides that, I have a review coming up about... Uh, KD6. I actually got a lot of videos in the works. One about the new Peak OS installer. Uh, another one about Warp Dev Terminal, which is really cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.